Mr. Claren here from Claren Maths. So another hard question that we're going to look at this time from a National 5 paper. It was a 2016 paper to question 12. So a good few years ago, but quite a common type of question to come up. And it says, the diagrams below show a rectangle and triangle. All measurements are in centimetres. Find an expression for the area of a rectangle for one mark. When given the area of a rectangle equals the area of a triangle, show that x squared minus 2x minus 8 equals 0 for 3 marks. Then find the algebraic of the length and breadth of a rectangle for 3 marks as well. Have a look at this and see if you can get anywhere with it before we come back and discuss it and see what the solution is. Okay, so what this question is asked us to do is find an expression for the of a rectangle, which we'll do in a moment, but essentially it turns into a quadratic question but also it is going to be, you're going to have to find the expression for the triangle, make them equal to each other, and then rearrange that equation to get that quadratic, quite a hard skill. Once you've done that, you'll then have to solve your quadratic equation. I'm going to go through a few steps with this and a few pointers that I think might make this a little bit easier, especially if you can't do the whole question. Okay, part A, find an expression for the area of a rectangle. Don't be scared by this. You all know the area of a rectangle is length times breadth. So just write down what the length of a rectangle is. If it was a number, you would write down 4, 5, 6. But in this case, it's x plus 8. So I'll just write down x plus 8. Now, since this is going to be times by something else, I'll put that in brackets. And I need to times by the breadth for the height, which is 2x plus 1. 2x plus 1. So there is an expression for the area of my rectangle for one mark. Part B, given that the area of a rectangle equals the area of a triangle, show that this. Now, we'll try to get there, but we don't know how to get there, but it does say area of rectangle equal area of triangle. So we know the area of a rectangle is x plus 8 and 2x plus 1, and that equals the area of a triangle, where a triangle is half times the base, 2x plus 5 times the height, 3x. So we can write they equal to each other. So now we need to expand some brackets and we'll get marks for expanding our brackets if we've managed to write this down. So expand on the left hand side, I usually use a box. We get x plus 8 on one side and 2x plus 1 on the other side to get 2x squared plus 16x plus 1x plus 8, and that equals a half times 2 is 1, so that's 3x times 1 times x plus 5, so essentially it's a half times 2 is 1, even just this to expand, that gives me 3x squared plus 15x. Tidying up the left hand side, we get 2x squared plus 17x plus 8, and that equals the right hand side of 3x squared plus 15x. You would get a mark for expanding this bracket and a mark for expanding that bracket. And then a mark for making them equal to each other and then somehow getting it down to the expression that they want. Now the expression they want is equal to 0, so I need to move everything over to the same side. So I've got small 2x squared, so if I look at the right hand side, I've got 3x squared plus 15x, I'm going to make this 0, I'm going to take away 2x squared then, I'm going to take away 17x, and I'm going to take away 8. So 0 equals 3x squared minus 2x squared, which is x squared, 15x minus 17x is minus 2x, and I've got minus 8. Or to put it in the way we want, x squared minus 2x minus 8 equals 0. Now you couldn't get very far with this question if you couldn't do part A, and if you could even do part A but you couldn't write down an expression for the triangle or just didn't know what to do, you couldn't do part B. That doesn't stop you doing part C though, because part C then says, hence find the algebra with length and breadth of the rectangle. And the question already told you that x squared minus 2x minus 8 equals 0 in part B. So even if you've lost the first two parts, you can still, if you know how to factorise and find out x, work out this.
from using quadratics, okay? So you've either got a quadratic formula or you've got factorising. Now, since this is non-calculator, you can bet nine times out of ten we're going to factorise. So let's have a look at it. We have got x squared minus 8x, 2x minus 8 equals 0. You're looking for, just to factorise this, numbers at times there to make 8. So I've got 1 and 8 or 2 and 4. And I want to pick the pair that add or take away to make minus 2. Well, 1 and 8 never does it, so it's going to have to be 2 and 4. And then I just write down, how does that make minus 2? Well, it makes minus 2 by doing, it's not going to be 4 take away 2 because that's plus 2, it's going to be 2 take away 4. Or plus 2 take away 4 is minus 2, and plus 2 times minus 4, just to check, is minus 8, which is the last number. So I can now factorise it, and a lot of this you could have done without any working, x and x, I've got plus 2 in one bracket and minus 4 in the other. You get a mark for factorising. And then for solving, you can then say x plus 2 equals 0 or x minus 4 equals 0. So that gives me that x equals minus 2 or x equals 4 for a second mark. And then, because this is a question in context, and we're talking about actual lengths of the triangle and rectangle, if we go back up and look at the lengths, so we've got x add 8 on the rectangle. Well, that means that we've got 4 plus 8, and we've got minus 2 add 8. And then, on the other side, we've got 2x add 1. So that's 2 times 4 is 8, plus 1 is 9. But then you'd have, if you use the minus 1, minus 2 plus 1, Minus 2 times 2 is minus 4 plus 1, which is minus 5. So we can't have a negative x because it's going to give us a negative height or breadth, and that doesn't work. We can't have a negative length. So we have to pick the one that's going to work. So using x equal to 4, the length is equal to... So remember back at our triangle... Eight plus four, which is twelve centimeters, if a breadth was two x add one, so two times four plus one, which is nine centimeters, and we get our final mark for working that out. It's been Claire Mastery of another hard National Five Maths question this time from twenty sixteen paper one. Hopefully that was helpful for you. Take care, stay safe, and goodbye.